city of York. If it's not a city, I am so sorry. I am not good at geography. Um, today we're gonna go and have a little look and see if I can find a ghost. I've always wanted a Yorkshire ghost, a little teeny cute adorable ghost that you get. Apparently there's a massive queue outside and it is pouring it down today. It is our final day of our little Yorkshire trip. So come along with us while we have a little walk around York and see if there's any weird and wonderful things to find. And just watch us to see if we get blooming drenched, to be honest, eh? You ready, boys? Yeah! <laughs> Welcome to York. <laughs> Portley is on a truck. Here. We are here. Not at the shambles. Oh yet. my god, I feel like I'm being chauffeured. Like I'm a celebrity. Thank you. Oh, they're weird. Look at that. Did I just tell him poo? No. Oh. I thought it shouldn't poo because I'm not paying attention. So yeah, here? this is the shambles. This is the famous street of York, which Diagon Alley was uh, based on. Spudge. And um, it's Aren't just like one of the streets in Shrewsbury, which is hilarious. It is, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well weird. This is the face of someone really sad who didn't check the dates of when things are open. We came on we the came wrong day. And it's, it's we didn't check. We should have checked. So if you're coming, don't come on a Wednesday. Literally, Don't come on a Wednesday. It is open every single other day except for Wednesday. We travelled. <laughs> like five hours and it's close. No salt and pepper shakers for us. Oh well, I'll have to go and waste my money on other um, Make me one. I will make you one. Thank you. We'll show you the results. <laughs> Nothing to short like beer buns. Coming in here because the ghosty place was closed, and I'm so freaking sad, man. So I'm gonna have. We've got butter beer here. Yeah. Yeah. Come in here. You've got to get some Yorkshire tea from the tea shop, haven't you? Oh my god, it's moving! <laughs> Well, we just spent a bit of money in the Society of Alchemists. I just broke my brolly. Oh dear. Is it because you've just been in an alchemy shop and they put a curse on you or something? Oh, that was ace. Can you just show what we got? Yeah, we got some amazing little things. Okay, um, I got some incense sticks because which smell I'm, incredible. I'm a hippie at heart. They smell really musty, which is lovely. <laughs> I've got pumpkin. a little hanging pumpkin to put in the van. And if I open this. It, we'll do it when we. Oh, okay. oh no. Oh no, is it wrapped up? Look, I got a oh, tiny yeah, little fair. music box. So it's Harry Potter. Vincent, can you hold the bag for me so I can open Victor, it? Vincent, whoever and it is. Look, when you you've got the same coat up, on. <laughs> imagine if it's the wrong one. It's a good job to check here right now. Yeah. Imagine if it just played like, I don't know, Macarena yeah. or something. Hold the bag. <laughs> it is the right one. Oh, Brilliant. 
And look at, look at that, where are you? Okay. Ah, oh, how adorable. Amazing. And we also got, from the po the, the potions cal cauldron, we got a um, magical potion drink gift box set because we were going to get two bottles and it was only a couple more quid to get all four. So. Yay. And they're all sparkly when yeah. you shake them. when you shake them up. Right, let's carry on looking around. What shop are we going in? The shop that must not be named. The Shambles is what J.K. Rowling based Diagon Alley on, hence why there's a lot of Harry Potter based stuff here. Yeah, but this shop is the most Harry Potter looking Apparently shop. Apparently it is, anyway. But they sell like wands and stuff, but we're literally just going past the window so we can quickly. And uh, we're going to have a quick look around in there and probably spend too much money in there. The size of that pop. Please use that one. Do you know what the funny thing is? Hedwig is actually the size of a normal pop. <laughs> Huge. Just come to the end of the shambles, went into the Harry Potter shop. It was absolutely nuts it's and overpriced. <laughs> it's actually more expensive, we think, than the one in um, the actual shop at Harry Potter World. Harry Potter World. Well, Harry Potter yeah. filming thingy. Yeah. Warner Brothers tour. Warner Brothers tour yeah. Thing. yeah. But we're going to go into the market now because we don't know what's in the market. Let's have a little look around it in the market. Like it does smell, well, I think it's something to do with that. So have a quick look around in the market. Right, the market was mildly uneventful. We just come down to the other side of it. There's a bit more market here, but it's just kind of like a sort of typical market really. But we'll carry on and have a little look around. And if you see anything interesting, we will show you. Right, so we've been down the shambles and we've had a little look around. There's still a couple more little things that we want to see. <clears throat> we've just been for food, but now we've come to find a street, a funny street name, and um, he's gone. I was about to say that again. <laughs> so this is the funny street name. Check this out. Whip ma whop ma gate. It's the smallest <laughs> street here, but it's the longest. It's not only is there not a whip ma whop there's also not a gate. I don't know what no. There's no gate here. No, no. But how funny is that? Oh my god, is that the gate? <laughs> is that the whip my whop my gate? Is that, <laughs> does it whip or whop you? Oh yeah, look. The oh shortest street in York, known known in 1505 as Wit nor what nor gate, and meaning what a street. It was changed later in, to its present name. The footpath was paved in York Stone by the York Civic Trust in 1984. Oh no way. Oh. So, right, okay. So is this it? Is this Whipna Whopna Street? It, it was Long time. Yeah. Is that it or is it this? Right, if someone is from York, can you please let us know which street? Oh, hang on a minute. There's a sign here that's kind of explaining it. Let's go and have a quick look. To cut it for a second then, because there was a very drunk, gross man walking past. <laughs> saying all sorts of profanities. So anyway, yeah. Whereabouts is it then? You are here. So which is... So yeah, it's... Um, it must just be this little stretch here. <laughs> it's still It's just this stretch here. No, it is literally just this bit to there. Cuss. From here oh. to there. Because that's another street up there. Oh, the Collier is. Gate. So there we go. Very short what street. A street. <laughs> hey, what? Hey, apparently in York it's kind of a thing that they have loads of cats. Not real ones. It's the cat. Is, is it like known as the cat walk or something? Oh, no, actually. I don't know, something like along those is lines. It, yeah. Just make that up. No, I sort of read something about it before. The cat walk or like the cat. I don't know. Anyway. Cat something or other. Yeah, there's um, loads of cats everywhere. So there are cats everywhere here. They're not real, but they are. Yeah, there's quite a there's few cats. In, oh, you're covering it up. It. One was on the shambles, wasn't it? Yeah, there's quite a few. So if we see all the way around. I'll show you where they are. Yeah. But apparently, people who've even lived here for years didn't even know there was cats around. Oh, 
Oh my yeah. gosh, we found Beaten Donut. Yeah, we did. Uh oh. Which is a disaster. <laughs> oh, look what we got. Do you want to see what we got? Oh, look at them. Oh they look well good. We're going to eat them later. Yeah, we're going to try them later. So we we'll let you know how they are later. You can't walk through the streets covered in sprinkles. It's not the same. Oh, shoot. And this place looked good. <laughs> no, yeah. Right, let's carry on walking. Let's go. Look at that tiny little house. Just come to have a look at this. It's called the Hocus Pocus Tiny Hotel. Obviously, we're not going to be staying in it. Well, this is the thing, we were talking about hotels the other day and saying that we don't, don't ever intend on staying in them again because we don't need to, but unless it's a special one, like this, that will be worth it. There's also a Valhalla bar next door. So we're very lucky that some the, the, the cleaners has come out and let us have a quick look inside. How good is that like? We're definitely going to look into the... <laughs> Thank you very much, see ya. <laughs> Oh, that looks. She said, "Yeah, no, she's a cleaner." Oh, I was going to lie and say I was the uh, the owner. Brilliant. What a cute. Look yeah, that looks amazing. Nice. We'll definitely look into that. Oh, that would be just amazing. for a night. Let's go kind of have a quick look at that tiki oh, yeah. bar. Closed, but um, yeah, this place is called Dum Dum. Right, we're coming back in the evening. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. For cocktails for I bet you would kill that. Why don't you make your own fiberglass shell? I could. Maybe. No. <laughs> no. Okay, we're just taking a little walk down here now because is it what? So we've come down a bunch of different random streets and to be honest with you, I'm starting to find that York's got more than you think it has if you actually go looking for it. Like as in, we you go, go yeah, like you go to, you go to like the, the um, boobs, <laughs> you go to like the shambles and you think, oh yeah, this is, this is York, but there's so much more. This is the teddy bear shop that we've heard about, Stonegate teddy bears. Why is there boobs on a teddy bear shop? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, she doesn't look very happy about having them, mate. Right, we're back at the van. This is Union Terrace Car Park. You can stay here overnight. Probably wouldn't want to. It's quite expensive. Four pound from six until eight in the morning, I think, on top of whatever you have to pay. But um, yeah, this is this little spot. And we could get our van in here perfectly, obviously, because Doug is tiny. So I think we're going to shoot off now and go back home. Because we done. Hey, that was a lovely walk around York. We had a great time, didn't we, boys? Yeah. It would have been nicer if it was less rainy. We would highly suggest coming, but be aware that it's hard to find loose as well. So, yeah. if yeah, if you've got kids, then you're gonna have to pay like forty pound. Forty p. <laughs> That's how posh it is here. Forty quid. But the loose were really gross in the car park that we used. Yeah. Um, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our little tour around York. And if we missed anywhere out that you think that would have been lovely, uh, let us know because we'll probably come back at some point. Definitely. Because there was a lot of places that we thought, oh, that was that'd have been nice, but yeah. if it was not pouring down. Um, so we'll see you on the next vlog. Vincent, keep smiling, stay positive, and have a great week. See you in the next one. Peace out. Peace. See you on the next one. Peace out. Right, we're back in the van now. Um, that was a lovely walk around Chester. Oh no, we're not in Chester. Oh. <laughs> Please don't put that on outtakes.